How was your trip? Uh, we'll just leave you alone. So, uh, I guess we have some issues? <laughs> we need to talk about something. Oh, boy! Oof. You don't <laughs> talk to me like that! <laughs> you little piece of sh**! <laughs> <laughs> Get the f*** up! Get the f*** up! <laughs> Weird. Weird. All right, now, get out there and make me some goddamn money! <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. If you want to understand how America became great, you're gonna have to look back into the past when we were still doing great things. If we want to restore that America, well, we're gonna have to look back at some of the greatest inventors and innovators of our time. Walt Disney, of course, inarguably one of the greatest Americans to ever live. Here's Walt Disney standing next to one of the many Oscars that he won. This is a very peculiar and interesting looking Oscar presented to him by Shirley Temple, a Hollywood darling and star at the time. This Oscar has seven little dwarf Oscars behind it. And what is this, ladies and gentlemen? It is recognition of the Academy Award Best Picture that Snow White won. The Oscars uh, Academy gave Walt Disney this special award in order to commemorate the incredible accomplishment of winning Best Picture with an animated feature. Upon its release, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in 1937 had both critical acclaim and box office success of a film worthy of Oscar's consideration. To that point, it was the highest grossing film of all time. The film's status as the first feature-length feature animated film from a Hollywood studio separated it from every other potential Best Picture nominee and therefore was worthy of this incredible Oscar. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what Walt Disney got for his incredible accomplishment of delivering Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the animated classic, Unto the World. Uh, now, let's fast forward to today. Do you think that the people who are playing Snow White have, have any appreciation of Walt Disney's accomplishments here? Let's take a listen. Cartoon was made 85 years ago, and therefore it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power and uh, and what a woman is fit for in the world. And so when we came to reimagining the actual role of Snow White, it became about the fairest of them all, meaning who is the most just and who uh, can become a fantastic leader. Shut up. I wonder if she, I wonder if Rachel Ziegler's live action, Snow White, will win any Oscars. Would he even win a dwarf Oscar? Would there even be like a little dwarf Oscar? No. I don't think so. My, how we have fallen from where our childhood stars used to be. Rachel Ziegler now saying, it's no longer 1937. <laughs> She's not going to be saved by the prince. This is classic communism, by the way. This is classic, like, toxic, cancerous communism. The idea that you have to rip down and tear down everything that came before you. Everything that came before you wasn't a pathway uh, of knowledge laid for you by your ancestors, for you to walk upon and build upon, it is simply something to be destroyed. And this is what Rachel Ziegler is doing. Rachel Ziegler is the destroyer of franchises, and ladies and gentlemen, some people are starting to take note. Paddington 3 has reportedly recast Rachel Ziegler. This is a movie starring the Paddington Bear. They are on their third uh, Paddington Bear movie, and Rachel Ziegler has been fired from the Paddington Bear production. Why? Well, many are saying it's because of the incredibly toxic reaction that she is getting to all of the promos for Snow White. Now, her PR team is saying, and probably the Disney PR team is saying that it's because of the strike. But the strike's over. West Side Story star Rachel Ziegler has reportedly been dropped out of the Paddington Bear in Peru, that's the name of the movie, after the strike. Oh, okay. Well, why was it just her dropped? They didn't make any, did they drop all the... everyone? Or was it just Rachel Ziegler? Paddington 3 wraps filming in two weeks and Rachel Ziegler has been recast. Hmm, interesting. So why would they just drop her? Why just her? Why didn't they recast everyone? Presumably, the vast majority of the people working on this film are members of the, whatever, the Film Actors Guild. Snow White star Rachel Ziegler axed from movie amid backlash. Now this is what people are saying. People are saying that it's because of the incredibly toxic backlash the she has received from the, rightfully, because of the just absolutely smooth-brained uh, fan 
enraging comments that she has made about this production that she has been dropped and now has been fired uh, from one of her other movies. We'll see, ladies and gentlemen, if even the Snow White, live action Snow White, makes it to the theaters. There's many rumors are, are circulating around that because of Rachel Ziegler's toxicity to this product, uh, it won't even make it. Imagine working with this person. Let's go through a list of things that are just like that are just present for us. And I know I typically comment on politics here, but politics is downstream of culture. And so whatever Hollywood is producing and whatever types of personalities that they are projecting upon us and whatever types of communism that they, like, again, this is critical theory. What she is saying, mm, it's 1937, okay? Like, that was a long time ago, okay? Like, this is outdated. What you are doing there is very specific. She might sound stupid, but she, it's th there's actually a point to this. A very, very sinister, malevolent point. Which is critical theory is all about the destruction of everything that came before you. And that you can learn nothing from it. And that all of the Oscars and all the treasures that Walt Disney won, and Walt Disney himself... They all need to be torn down. The statues, all of it needs to be torn down. Disneyland itself needs to be torn down. Rachel Ziegler, first off, first and foremost, is shitting on her fellow cast members. Weird, weird. Being, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there you go. There's a big focus on her love story. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> weird. 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 So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie, Andrew Burnap, great dude. Um, it's uh, <laughs> one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024 um all of andrew's scenes could get cut who knows it's hollywood baby hey, all of your scenes you hard-working actor could just get cut because it's hollywood baby mm. well now it seems that rachel ziegler is the one who has been cut rachel ziegler is the one who's been replaced and you can't convince me that it's not because of the incredibly toxic backlash that she has received here she is on x she her hers rachel ziegler Saying the rumors are true, sad face. I'm three apples tall. Huh? What? Okay. Cool, I guess. I have like seven times your following, so that makes me happy. Uh, there's a reason why people hate her and why she's being kicked out of movies. There's a reason why she's being canceled from hopefully. Disney, do yourself a favor. Kill the production right now. Like, do not let this person disgrace one of your most cherished properties. Please. Like, we're begging you. Here are the headlines that are coming out. Rachel Ziegler says Prince stalked Snow White in original film. Reveals that live action version is really not about the love story at all. Oh, okay. Got it. Everything Walt Disney did was wrong. Everything Walt Disney did was stupid. So stupid. So stupid, in fact, that we're going to complain about dressing up as a Disney princess. This is, I mean, the most unforgivable one. Rachel Ziegler is saying that, how dare you not pay me for standing in a princess dress all day? Well, guess who stands in princess dresses all day? Millions of young women all around the world. Maybe even billions. Including my daughters. Stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess. I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is why she's being dropped. Like a bag of hot potatoes from these movies. Branding experts warn Rachel Ziegler backlash could ruin Disney's big budget Snow White remake and predicts executives will be having crisis talks in order to win back fans. Yeah. People are saying no. And good. You know, this this, this was always going to come this was, there was always going to be an endpoint here. There was always going to be an endpoint to the disrespect that we that the that you can deliver to fans and to the paying customer. There the, you reach a stopping point where people say, F you. Rachel Ziegler admits that she didn't like Snow White growing up, saying she only watched the movie once before getting the role. Millions and millions of women love the character. And Disney went out and found literally the worst possible goblin to play this. This is a, this is a company on suicide mission. This is a company on a, on, a, on a total and complete suicide mission. They are eroding and destroying 
their glorious past. And they are doing it because they are no longer creators. They do not have any spark, imagination, wit. They are left with nothing but bitterness because they cannot even hope to fill the shoes, to shine the shoes of the greatness that came before them. And so in their bitterness, they seek to only destroy that which came before them. Because they are in incapable of creating anything, they are the destroyers. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in making sure that you never give a single penny, cent, dollar, or like to anything that Rachel Ziegler does. Let's make sure that this career gets canceled uh, for the good of us and for the good of this company. We're going to help Disney out here, okay? I'm not trying to help Disney out. We're going to help them out. We're going to show them the error of their ways. I think they already know. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe to end critical theory cancer of communism and Rachel Ziegler's sad, pathetic little career. See ya.